Lots and lots of these fat shots are caused and created by inconsistent movement of the body and inconsistent body weight shift. As a golfer, we should start with our body weight largely 50-50, left and right, front and back, in the setup position. During the backswing phase, the body weight might be tempted to shift towards the rear foot. So as we make our backswing turn, the body weight moves slightly to the rear side. From there, we want to drive the body weight down and forwards, down and forwards towards the front leg and finishing right the way up onto the tiptoe. Now, if you're a fatter of the golf ball and you hit the ground sometimes before the ball, chances are your body weight isn't shifting in the right fashion and you're leaning back during the phase of impact, which is why you'd be hitting down and you'd be catching the ground too near to your right leg and the body weight goes out the back door. So a really interesting way of trying to change that, trying to get that body weight moving forward is just to make your golf swing a little bit more dynamic. I stress this is only a drill, something to practice on the range or the practice ground. Don't try this on the first tee, your mates will laugh at you. We're going to set up to the golf ball in our normal position. As we make a back swing, we're going to bring the feet together. So we've moved over to the right side and the feet are together. And the reason why we've moved back is so we can really now make an effort to get forwards. And we're going to step back in. So as we swing down, we step back to the front side and then drive all the way through to a big finish. And if you want to, you can drive all the way through to the big finish and take another little step as well. So we've got the good setup, the step, step and through. And once I've established that step back, step through, my body weight will never want to stay back on my rear side ever again. Because if I go this way and here and then step, there's no way I'm gonna come back out of it. I'm gonna make that step and follow it all the way through onto my front leg and really get driving forwards with a lot more of a dynamic motion. So I've got a golf ball here. I've set it up on a tee peg so we don't have to worry about any striking issues. I'm gonna go through my routine again like I've just learned. So I'm setting up in a good position. I make a little back step and I'm gonna step forwards as I strike through the golf ball. Little back step, step in and get through the ball. And I can really feel I was very dynamic through that golf ball, got a lot of body weight forwards, didn't leave anything over on my rear leg. And if you practice that on the driving range, start with it just on a tee peg as I did there, and then drop it down onto the ground, those fat shots and those leaning back scoopy shots should disappear out of your game forever.